called a dumb bunny. And you can tie these things in all kinds of different colors. And, uh, this is the, the that hook comes in a either a two or a six. And these hooks were originally made for uh, this outfit, do it, do it jig hooks. They they actually mold lead heads onto these things is what they're they're originally made for. Kind of a radical looking hook. But uh, this this size a friend of mine in Bicea, he was he's been using it for catching bass and, and some ponds. And that's this size actually probably worked for big trout too. And it uh, and it rides you know, it rides like that, and then when this thing gets wet, man, it just it just pulses and jigs. Now, the original when they originally tied it, they tied the uh, put the eyes on here on the top. But he was having trouble with the thing not keeling right, so I started putting the tying the the eyes down here on the bottom, so it really it really keels and it really and it really jigs better. And if you want to get really radical, you just wrap some lead around there too, and just that thing just drops like a like a rock, you know. And these hooks are extremely sharp. I mean, you, you don't see them buried in that rabbit fur. Like to impale yourself. These are medium, medium barbell eyes. On this size, you probably should really use a, use a large, really get the thing to jig. But basically, you tie this, tie those on just like, like you would a clouser. Right at the bend. Huh? Yeah, I'm putting it right where that, where that thing. Yeah. Well. Now, do, you, no. do you go around the base to no, kind of tighten could, the thing like, like Clouser does? Yeah. No, you could. What I do is put some mm -hmm. put some uh, super glue in there. This is just straight, ready to rabbit, rabbit strip, eighth inch strips. What I actually found was on this bottom part, the uh, cross cut worked pretty good because it'll kind of lay down on the uh, on these straight rabbit strips. You have to watch kind of which direction the piece in here is. Kind of which direction it's going to lay down. Um, if you look at this one, when it's flat, it's actually kind of laying that direction. If I tie that in like that, it's going to want all curl towards that that direction. So what I ended up doing was was taking it from the actually when it's backwards, snip a little bit off here. And when I tie this on. It'll tend to want to go go toward the back instead of toward the front. So you probably have to look at every piece of rabbit when you do that to kind of decide.
That was the cross cut, George? No, it wasn't, but a cross cut actually is going to lay down a lot easier than that. But this makes it a lot bushier. The cross cut wants to kind of lay in against the hook. This, this kind of really, really pulses out on it. So I just moved my thread up to the front. Here again, I'm going to trim some of this hair off the front of this thing. And I want to cut a little taper on the front of it. And here again, I'd be soaking this thing in flex amount if I do it at home. So then I want to just get this top piece in here catch it. In front of the eyes? Yeah. Point it down good. Now, at this point, I'm going to pull this top piece back, and I'm going to measure where it crosses the back of the, the hook. I'm going to leave my thumb there, and I'm going to come up here in front, and I'm going to puncture that hide right through the hook point. Carefully. Yeah, without sticking my, without sticking my thumb. And then I'm just going to come in here, I'm going to cut the Cut the back about the same length as as the uh, the body would be. Again, you know, if you get it too long, then you're probably going to get some short strikes. But now, where am I? You can put. I'm going to put some the UV bonder on it. What you can do with the guy that originally tied it, he'll take it and he'll actually trim the bottom of it. You kind of take the take the sides. Bring it down and just cut the bottom flush. If you want to put some, I put some crystal flash on one of them, but if you want to do that, you want to put that in just before the, you put that top wing in there. But that's it. When that thing gets wet, and that's just, just really pulses. And that jig head just makes it jig up and down. Who made that? 